Hi everyone, my name is Sarah and I am the content creator behind the booktube channel, The Bookish Knitter. Today I am here to share with you a list of books that are emotional reads, books that are definitely going to tug at your heartstrings. So let's jump in and get started. The first book I want to share with you is called If You Love Something by J.V. Ellis. This is a male-male romance. In this book, one of our male leads, Deshaun, is an executive chef and he receives a phone call from his grandmother that changes his whole life. Uh, she drops a few bombshells on him during this phone call. One, she has cancer and she's not going to seek treatment. Two, she's leaving half of her estate to Deshaun's ex-husband, Malik. So, you know, already that's kind of a lot to process. Oh, but then there's bombshell number three, where, guess what, that divorce that Deshaun and Malik had didn't actually go through and they're still technically married. So Deshaun heads home to try and deal with all of this family drama, and of course his ex-husband shows up as well. There's something with the shady uncle that's going on that they're trying to get the, that he's trying to get the estate as well. And it's essentially the two of them remembering Deshaun and Malik on why they even split up in the first place. I've always said second chance romances are some of my favorites, but when you add the extra element of they used to actually be married, it just adds this whole other level to the story. And it was so good. Highly recommend this book. Next up, we have A Place to Heal by Ali Pieter. This is a love-inspired romance. For anyone who has watched my booktube channel knows I am a big fan of these books and I think they're absolutely delightful. So this is the story about a woman by the name of Dara. She's a former police chief and she wants to open a camp for children that have experienced tragedy in their life. And she thinks she's like been crisscrossing the country and she's finally found the perfect location at this, you know, huge mountainside area in Arizona. The problem is, is that the gentleman who owns the land, he's a widow, he's not too sure that this is the best idea for use for this land. So she needs to work with him and with the town to try and convince them that this is just going to benefit everyone. And of course, in the process, is going to fall in love with that widowed dad. And it just sounds so delightful. The cover of this one is just beautiful. And this one sounds so emotional. All the Love Inspire books tend to have that extra bit of emotion, at least to me. But this one it definitely sounds fantastic. So the next book I want to share with you is actually a book that I finished just a few months ago, and that is Beach House Summer by the always delightful Sarah Morgan. I love Sarah Morgan's books, and I am always looking forward to a new one by her. This was a great summertime emotional read. So it's about our main character, Joanne, who was once married to a very well-known chef. And not a spoiler alert, but he dies at the very beginning of the book in a car crash. In the car with him was this young woman, someone uh, in her early 20s. And Joanne recognizes this girl, uh, woman, as soon as she's being shown on television. So she goes to the hospital and decides to take her under her wing. This woman is pregnant and, you know, there's a backstory to that. I don't want to divulge it here. You need to read the book. But Joanne takes her and they go back to Joanne's small hometown to both heal from the tragedy that has befallen both of them, essentially. And while they're there, Joanne runs into her old high school boyfriend and her old best friend that she hasn't talked to in probably two decades. It's a great emotional story, not only for the romance aspect that's in this book, but also the found friendship or the refound friendship, if you will, plus the relationship between Joanne and this woman. Absolutely wonderful. I highly recommend this book. I thought it was an absolute delight. Next up, we have The Sweetest Thing by Sasha Summers. I just finished this book and guys, I absolutely loved it. Don't sit on this one. Go and pick it up immediately. This is a great, not really a second chance romance. It's about Tansy and Dane and the two of them knew each other in high school. They kind of had feelings for each other, but then something happens. I don't want to divulge again what it is for spoiler reasons, but they don't like each other now. They they butt heads every chance they get. And the first scene in this book where the two of them to, are together are the two of them butting heads with each other. But of course, as the story goes on, they're forced to work together with this junior beekeepers group and they start to have feelings again for each other. And it's absolutely delightful. This story not only deals with, of course, the relationship between Tansy and Dane, 
but also with sibling relationships, which is something I really loved in this book. So you had relationships with Tansy and her sisters, uh, Astrid and Rosemary, and then the two aunts that raised them, and also uh, Dane dealing with issues with his brother Leaf. A wonderful, wonderful summertime story. I just thought it was fantastic. And just reading this, I learned also so much about beekeeping, <laughs> which was really, really interesting. The next book I want to share with you is called Her Veterinarian Hero by Elizabeth Mowers. This is a Harlequin heartwarming books, and just from the title, you know that these books are going to be emotional. This book was fantastic. So it's about our main character, Olivia, who is a widow. A year earlier, her husband died in a car accident, and her teenage son was in the car with his father. Um, she decides to come back to the small town where her aunt lives to kind of heal over the summer and try and reforge a relationship with her 14 year old son because he's become very, very distant and angry ever since the accident. So when they arrive in town almost on her first day, she meets a man by the name of Tyler, who is a local veterinarian, and he actually rescues her from almost, uh, taking a tumble while she's out for a hike. So the two of them start up a friendship, but the friendship that I really enjoyed in this book was between Tyler and Olivia's son. He kind of takes Olivia's son under his wing and, you know, helps him start to heal from the death of his father. There's a lot of other moving parts in the story that are going on, secrets that are revealed. It was wonderful, really tugs at the heartstrings, and I absolutely adored it. So the last three books I want to talk about, I'm going to kind of talk about together because all three of them are part of the same series. They are the three newest releases in the Forever Yours series from the special edition line. This is a series that features around foster dogs and adopting dogs and just dogs in general and how dogs really do bring an entire new emotional experience into people's lives. So I read A Bookshop Rescue by Rochelle Allers a few months ago, and I absolutely loved it, about a woman fostering this beautiful golden retriever dog who happens to be pregnant with a bunch of puppies. She falls for her friend. It's a friends to lovers romance. It is absolutely wonderful. Highly recommend. The newest release that is out is called Love Off the Leash by the great Tara Taylor Quinn, who can write an emotional story like nobody's business. This is the story of Wendy and Greg, and it deals with PTSD and soldiers coming back from the war and how service dogs can help that. And the dog in this story, his name is Jedi, and he definitely helps Greg uh, heal from his time being spent overseas. The newest book in this series is called A Double Dose of Happiness, and it's by uh, the great Terry Wilson. I adore Terry Wilson's books. They are just so charming and delightful, and that cover is just everything. I love it so much. So this is about a widow who hires a nanny who he hopes is going to change his entire life, at least in aspect of trying to raise his children. And she comes in, this, this nanny comes in, and she encourages them to adopt this bonded cat and dog. So this is the first story, I think, in this series that actually also features a cat. And you meet this cat and dog in a previous book, actually, which is, as an animal lover, I'm so happy that the cat and dog are getting their forever home story as well. So this book sounds delightful. It comes out. It's, I think it's out now. So I definitely recommend that you go and check it out, but check out this whole series. If you are an animal lover, you will absolutely adore this whole series. You don't necessarily have to read them in order. You can pick and choose which ones sound great for you. But the three that I just talked about are definitely ones that you should put on your radar. So that's all that I have for today's video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Please leave us a comment below and let us know what is an emotional book that you have read recently. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe to Harlequin. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to be updated for any new videos that we post. Also, please don't forget to like this video if you liked it and do share it with your friends. And be sure to follow us as well on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok. And until my next video, everybody, take care and happy reading. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye, guys.